Hey everybody, it's JR. I'm going to do a indoors video today and show you guys how to set some stuff up on uh, the scanner, different channels and configs. Um, I've had a few questions. I guess most people are just using other people's configs or whatever. So I'll show you guys how to do a few things. Mainly I'm going to focus on how to do the horsepower calculation. So let me open that up for you real quick. Oh, all right, I'm gonna open. <clears throat> Let me shrink this down so that actually fits in the uh, screen capture here. Okay, I'm gonna open a log file so I can show you what I'm talking about. So, you can see the things I'm logging on my chart versus time, RPM, speed, torque, horsepower, ECT, IAT, mileage, average, knock retard, spark, TPS, cylinder grams, injector bank one, O2 bank one, injector bank two, O2 bank two, AFR commanded and EQ commanded. Um, these are all from the channels over here on your left. So these are your channels and that will tell you, that will determine what you're able to log over here <clears throat> as far as gauges or chart versus time. So specifically to do the horsepower one, you can see it going up and down, up and down, up and down, right? I don't think I ever went <clears throat> wide open throttle with this. So the torque, it's just based off an engine input. So I know people are going to be like, oh, this is not a dyno. It can't be that accurate. No, but the ECU does use torque, calculated torque. <clears throat> That's how it does torque management. Okay. So it calculates out how much torque the engine's putting out at any given time, and it does that by how much f by figuring out how much fuel's going through it, and how many grams of air are going through the cylinder based on the displacement. So, if you haven't changed, if you have a stock engine, you haven't changed your cam, you haven't stroked it, you haven't done anything else. If this is is accurate, then this will be accurate. And if we have torque we can figure out horsepower <clears throat> excuse me why can we figure out horsepower because horsepower is it's just a math equation okay there's nothing more to horsepower than torque times rpm divided by 5252 that's it it's just how quickly an engine can perform work it's just a simple basic equation so what some people may or may not know is that HP tuners the scanner can do math for you you go up here to tools okay and math parameters see these mass user there's pretty fine ones up here but we're not gonna worry about that so you see right here, I've inserted some. This would have ordinarily, if you haven't done any of this, it'll be user math one, two, three, so on and so forth. And here's things that I'm still working on, or working on. So, in order, th that's it right there. I wrote in the notes the equation for horsepower. So what you'll do, is you'll enter this like this okay and I'm just gonna go back and forth and copy the name's gonna be horsepower so you type that the abbreviation is gonna be HP whoops Good 
here you can't type your notes are going to be put your equation in there rpm times torque divided by 5252 okay now down here all you need to do is copy this expression exactly like I have it right here. And this will t what this is going to do, this channel right here is your engine speed, and this channel right here is your torque. So, RPM times torque divided by 5252. that's it then go up here save the math parameter as you see that I have some already saved I'm not gonna bother saving this one and we're done that's it so in order to add it to your chart versus time what you want to do is go onto it right click it charts layout and you see you have these five groups here right which correlate to the five layers I have right here and you can take them off or add them or whatever I chose to put mine in this group right here so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll take that off okay so I want my horsepower right there with my torque and my rpm and the other things so what I'm going to do is add series and the parameter that I want, you actually put a label up here and you see it appears over here. So click your parameter, click this little gear to make all the ones that don't apply go away. So now nothing's coming up that doesn't work for my truck. Maths, user defined, horsepower. That's it. Then you want to save it. Well, I guess you don't have to save it. You can close it. And you can save the whole config. You want to save this layout up here. Say yes. Now, since this one's a, a, a calculation of things I was logging anyway it'll work even if I apply it to an older log file so we can close this log file and open another log file and it's still there and it's still calculating it Now one of the other ones I've been working on is the mileage. And I haven't been able to get that working yet. What I'm trying to do Well, I'm just going to leave that off for now and leave it at that's how you can add a horsepower calculator and it's not I don't know I've seen online where people are like where people have talked about the kind of gains they have or, or the correlation they have I haven't 
stack this up directly to, you know, I, I'm not going to go nine on my truck. But what I can see is the gains. Okay, and if I'm not in here monkeying with this stuff, the gains will continue to show. I, I'll see if I'm gaining or losing, and I'll see where I'm gaining or losing. And I can even graph it if I want to. So, anyway, that's how you do that. Hopefully it helped. Um, you know, drop a comment if you have any questions. If I wasn't clear, I know I kind of rambled a bit. But, uh, hopefully that helps you out. So, remember to like and subscribe and share with your friends. And this is JR, and we'll see you later.